Yes, I've finally beaten this game. Time to have some dinner. Ouch, my back! I better sit back down. Okay, let's search how I can make sitting before the PC easier on my poor body. Don't use a regular chair or armchair for prolonged work or playing. Special office and gaming armchairs have an anatomical shape, and they can be adjusted to fit your frame perfectly. More advanced armchairs are costlier too, but you're guaranteed not to have lower back pain with them. If you don't feel like buying an expensive chair, at least get some lower back support. It can be a seat cushion or a chair back attachment that will hold your back in a natural position so you won't get up sore. For neck support, the easiest solution is a travel cushion. This way, when you sit back in your chair, the back of your neck won't bend or strain too much. Just make sure the back of your chair is high enough to support your neck. You can also make a roll of a towel and attach it to the back of your chair with, let's say, adhesive tape. It works for both the lower back and the neck, depending on where you put the roll. If your legs, and especially knees, get tired after sitting for a while, it's best to adjust the height of your chair. The seat should be high enough for your eyes to look straight at the screen, though. So if it's comfortable for your legs, but you have to look up, better use a small footrest. Ideally, your knees should be bent 90 degrees and your feet firmly planted. Always pick a monitor with adjustable height and angle. It will save you the trouble of adjusting your chair in the first place. By the way, the most comfortable position in an office chair is with your tailbone pushed all the way back, giving your spine a bit of a forward curve. This way, you can lean back and get up after an hour or more without feeling sore. Your hands are in an unnatural position when typing or holding the mouse. Buy yourself a mouse pad with wrist support and a special attachment for the keyboard so that your wrists are always straight. Otherwise, just make improvised cushions for your wrists with small roll towels. It may be inconvenient at first, but your hands will feel much better in the long run. You can also find a vertical mouse in online stores. It acts like a regular mouse, but your hand is positioned on the side with your little finger and the side of your palm as a support. For a relaxed spine, it should always be resting on your chair's back. Ideally, your forearm should be supported by the armrests at all times too. This way, your shoulders won't be too tense. Make the desk work for you. Install a sliding shelf for the keyboard that's exactly at the height for you to type without lifting your arms. Your shoulders will relax as well as your spine. If you like reading books or playing games on your smartphone, keep it at eye level. It will improve your posture and help you avoid neck pain. Now, you really can't spoil your eyesight by staring at the screen for hours. But your eye muscles can get tired. Do some eye gymnastics every 30 to 40 minutes, and better yet, distract yourself with something to let your eyes rest for a bit. Make sure you don't lean on either side of the armchair while working or playing. Your spine's natural position is not exactly straight, but if you keep it crooked to the side, it will eventually complain by causing aches and pains. If you use your smartphone a lot, don't we all? You probably sometimes feel your thumb being sore. If that happens, weave patterns in the air with it for a minute or so. Fingers don't have muscles in them, but there are joints that may start complaining because of excessive use. Playing or watching videos on a laptop while lying in bed is super cozy, but it puts a heavy toll on your neck. If you don't want to get out of bed, at least turn onto your belly and prop your upper body on a pillow. Holding your laptop on your lap is also not the best idea. In this position, you're looking downwards, and both your neck and eyes get tired too easily. Just like with desktop computers, better find a position in which your eyes are level with the screen. By the way, there's no position in which you're looking at the screen straight and your arms are relaxed when using a laptop. Connect a separate USB or wireless keyboard to avoid this problem. 
Most monitors and phones now have the eye saver mode. It lowers the blue light from the screen by adding a yellowish hue to the picture. It's perfect for those who work with documents a lot. And if you want to watch a movie or play a game, just turn this mode off. Keyboard backlighting can also help you fight the tired eyes. If you have to look at the keyboard while typing, switching back and forth between the screen and the keys can be hard. Backlight makes the keys more prominent. Just make sure the letters are backlit properly, not just the gaps between the keys. Your eyes will get sore much less often if there's no glare on the screen. Turn your monitor away from all sources of light, especially the sun, as it might not only make you uncomfortable, but also damage the screen with time. Proper lighting is still important, though, so if the overhead light doesn't let you feel cozy, get yourself a desk lamp. If the screen is the only source of light in your room, your eyes will get too strained after an hour or so. Don't forget to wipe and clean your keyboard, mouse, and smartphone regularly. You touch them way too often, and not always with clean hands. Many of us also eat behind our keyboards. Yeah, me too. So you'd be surprised at how much stuff there is inside your keyboard. Touch your face afterwards and say hi to nasty health issues. Crossing your legs feels so good when you're sitting a lot. But after some time, one or even both of your legs might fall asleep. You restrain the blood flow in your upper leg from the knee down, and your lower one feels a lot more pressure than usual. The habit of crossing your legs might lead to problems with veins. Standing or adjustable desks are gaining popularity right now. Instead of sitting all day long, you can raise your desk higher and stand up. This will give your legs a much-needed shift in activity. Also, don't forget about the sound. Headphones are better than earphones because they don't get inside your ear canals. Your eardrums don't like being shaken too much. And if the source of the sound is too close, they can stretch or even snap. The worst types of earphones, by the way, are droplets that get deep inside your ears. They might give you the best quality of sound and almost perfect soundproofing, but it happens at the cost of your hearing in the long run. You'll also do good to buy yourself a headset for talking on the phone. Many of us have the habit of wedging the phone between the neck and shoulder. And if you stay like that for a long time, you'll feel the consequences quite soon. Smartphones with bigger screens aren't really convenient to use with one hand. That is, if you don't switch to one-handed mode. Most newer phones have this feature. Check how to turn it on in the settings or default tips.